Hello everyone, what's up? It's been a long time since I did a like a shop video, even though I've been doing a lot of upgrades to some of the guns that I have. Um, I had recently purchased a uh, SIG, S or not SIG, but SB Tactical Brace for my CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. And there were some other upgrades or changes that I wanted to do and I thought I'd just do a quick video where I share them with you. Some of the things that I don't like about the gun is the grip angle. So you see how extreme that A2 style angle is and on any any sort of SMG or PDW you know a more vertical grip is more comfortable because you're not holding it like this you know it's in the closer it gets into your body the more you kinda wanna drop that elbow down and have it a more vertical grip. So the grip is one thing. One of the major thing though is as I'm holding the grip here, as you can see, when the safety goes on to fire, it is absolutely digging in into my hand there. Is ah. So I'm gonna change out the right side safety as well as this little tiny tiny charging handle here is is a real nightmare to uh to grab onto, so I've got another charging handle as well, as well as putting on the brace. So what I want to do is go over with you real quick what we've got. So we've got a grip to change out, and then also from from Yeti Works, which I've already put this on, is this magazine release. So it's an extended mag release. Now I'm not 100% sold on this yet because it's pretty pretty long. If you can see that, how long that is to get that mag release going. You can also push right here like the stock one. But it's possible that that could get caught on some clothes or some gear and release your mag. So this is still up for uh, discussion. I believe they might make one that's a little bit shorter than this. But this one, if I have to, I can actually cut it, round it off, shorten it up. But that's, um, I had already put this on. So we do have an extended mag release. And the stock one is just a, uh, black plastic. So here's the the safety that we're going to put on is made by HB Industries. So I don't know if I said HB Industries makes the they make a lot of parts for this actually, a lot of parts. So they make this slightly extended charging handle. They've got a couple different style safeties, but this one here is uh, what they're calling an AK style safety. So we'll put that on see how that goes. We have the SB Tactical Brace to put on here. And then that's that's five items, but HB Industries also has this little tiny trigger kit. It's a pin, it's a spring and a pin. I'm not gonna put the trigger pins in yet. I've barely shot this gun. I wanna do these other upgrades and then I'll decide whether I want to go in because it looks like I have to disassemble the trigger pretty far to do that, to put in these few little springs. So I'm not going to do that yet. But today we're doing grip, we're doing safety, we've already done the mag release, we're doing the extended charging handle, and we're putting on the brace. So to get started here, I imagine we could do the safety. So go ahead and lock your gun into charge position. There's a push pin right at the front here, just below the ejection port. Push that pin across. It is captive, so it'll stay in there. If you pull down the mag well, you'll pull out your whole trigger assembly. So this is where you can take you can take apart your safety, as well as uh, once you take apart your safety, there's a screw underneath the, the in the trigger well where you would pull out the trigger assembly if you wanted to do any work in there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the safety. Now, once you have this out, you can see that there's some slots here. And if you rotate the safety, you will see there is a hex head or Allen stud in here. We're going to take this out just on the right side because that's the only side that's affecting us. And this kit is nice because it only sends that side. You don't, need to, you don't need to pay extra for both sides if you only want to change out the one side. There's a few guns that I've found that uh, have this issue with the safety. The Vector is one of them. Uh, my BNT APC45 is another one. Okay, so it just pulls off after you get that out. Take your new safety lever. 
put it on and line up the hole, what it's doing is it's reversing it from facing backward to facing forward. And like I said, there's two different lengths. I got a longer length thinking maybe I could brush it like you do an AK, which would be kind of kind of cool. And then just reinstall your your stud here. The safety, a lot of this stuff is pretty easy to do. I would think that the the hardest part on this whole thing would be messing with the trigger. That's why I'm I'm just gonna wait on it a little bit. I need to be like really upset with that trigger to change it out. This isn't something like an AR that I'm gonna be rapid firing or something like that. It's gonna be more of a target shooter. So I'm gonna leave that. Now this is, you don't wanna kill this on here really. You just need to snug it up. Um, if it does back out, you won't be able to rotate your safety because if it starts to back out up this slot, it won't allow you to rotate your safety. So you'll know if it's backing out. So remember this, a lot of this stuff is polymers and stuff. You don't need to, you don't need to kill it on there. So here's, here's our safety now. So instead of back here in my knuckle, now I can brush it up and down with my trigger finger. I don't even have to use the other side. I can. It's really nice. It pushes it forward and out of the way. I really like that. We can take off our grip which has a single, a single uh, bolt crossing it. Now the thing about the grip is, I believe, where the bolt goes through, it's not just a straight hole, it's actually slotted. And being slotted this way, back and forth, you can actually adjust the grip for if you've got really big hands and you feel like moving the grip back a little bit for, uh, to line up your trigger or push it forward if you have smaller hands if you feel like you're really reaching out there for the trigger. It's, it's about, it fit, felt like a maybe a quarter of an inch. We'll look and see what the slot looks like when we get this grip off. So you take out the single cross bolt. It's a nut that's kind of captively held. Okay, so if you can see that right here, there's a slot. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that slot, but there's a at least a quarter inch slot for the grip, which is nice. It's a, I mean, it's a nice option. Um, for me, I just like there to be no gaps between the grip and the back of the trigger housing. I like it to look smooth. So now we're just gonna take the other grip. Now the, the, the funny thing about these Yeti grips, they were, uh, I don't know if they still do it, but they were actually 3D, 3D printed originally. They were 3D printed and it was one of the only only places early on that actually did um, any kind of aftermarket stuff for these Scorpions when they first came out. Now there's a lot more companies. So I was able to get uh, some of the Yeti parts from HB Industries. HB Industries is in Scottsdale, Arizona website. They shipped out to me fast. I'm going to keep this loose for now so I can see that's your adjustment sliding right there. Slide that back. Uh, let's see. We got. Let's put the trigger mechanism back in. Now the trigger mechanism at the back has this ledge. So what you wanna do is hook that in there, push the front down and push the pin through. And you gotta make sure that your, your gun is actually locked in the open position. And don't let it slam like I did. See if everything fits with this new grip, huh? Okay, so it's hooked back there. Pin pushes across just fine and release that. Yeah, see, so if I pull it back, you can actually, there's actually a gap there, which doesn't look good to me. So I'm gonna push it all the way forward. So there's no gap between the grip and the back of the trigger housing. It felt, it felt fine, it felt fine to me. The difference of a quarter inch to me, I don't think is gonna make a big difference, but it's there if you need it. If you don't mind there being like a little bit of gap there. I'm guessing that's what it's for. It could be just to loosen up, back it out of the way to make it easier to release your, your trigger guard or your, your, your trigger mechanism. So here's what our safety looks like now. So instead of it hitting me in the thumb back here, it's all the way up front. So I can sweep it on and off. With the safety on, it's like hard to even get your, trig your trigger finger into the trigger. It kind of blocks it a little bit, which is nice which is nice, so when you go to fire this thing, sweep that sucker up and you're ready to fire. Okay, now, the charging handle. Let's do the charging handle. So 
So another HB Industries product. All right, so in the front here, there's a pin. There's a pin right here. And if I look at it, this left side actually has a head on it and the right side doesn't. So we're gonna push it on my particular gun, which is the newest version of the CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1. I'm gonna push it through from the ejection port side of the gun, the right side, to the left side. Okay, just came out and it is, is it polymer? It's polymer. And it's got uh, an indexing key on top and kind of a, like a, a retainment on the other side. So now with that done, we're gonna wanna push this forward. And I believe if you look at this one, there's a little spring clip that sticks out. You're gonna wanna push that spring clip in as you're trying to pull your other, other one out. And I'm gonna leave the charging handle on the left hand side, so let's see. I'm gonna take a, right now I'm gonna try a flat. Actually, you know what, this punch that I have is about the same size as the hole. Uh, it's perfect. So with the punch that I have, which is about the same size as the pin, was able to go straight in there, push this, this spring clip so this could easily just slide up and out. Now, we're gonna take our newer, extended, semi-extended charging handle here. Again, as you go in, make sure that that clip isn't getting hung up on anything. One to get hung up right at the very beginning here. Okay, it slid right by. The thing I, that, I, when I looked at this particular charging handle, okay, it looks like it's keyed to where it faces, the key on the polymer thing faces the charging handle. It's the only place that would have a slot for that key to go through. I just wiggled the charging handle as I was applying pressure to it. Make sure that the, the fat head of the pin seats all the way up against it. There we go. Now, it's not, it's not an obscene one. Some, you know, you've seen things where they've done way too long of an extension. This is not obscene in any way, but it's about, I'd say it's a good twice, twice the distance, twice the width. So it, it does stick out past the pick rail, but it makes it real easy now to grab hold of this thing. It's really nice. Okay, so we've installed front charging handle. I had the mag, extended mag release on here. Again, uh, HB Industries and Yeti stuff. And you can, I, if you're interested in this stuff, I would check the HB Industries site because they're set up, you know, for retail and all that stuff. Um, and it, it worked out pretty good. Got the safety installed. Now we have to take off this back piece and put on the brace. Let's take a quick look at this brace out of the box. Uh, I bought this direct from SB Tactical. They are the makers of all braces. <laughs> a lot of people just rebrand their braces with their name on it. So you can see here, here's their folding brace and it is FDE to match the gun. All right, all looks pretty straightforward. So on this, taking this back off, there is a pin there's a pin right here. There's the, the big hole where your sling goes and then a small hole below it. There's a pin here. It's just, just spring loaded. Now some people can probably push these down and pull these off. Mine's pretty tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that pin in and I'm just gonna hit down with the, the base of my plastic screwdriver here, see if I can get this thing moving. Slides up. And off. There's that big pin I was talking about. It sits inside a hole. So that's that's the pin. It's not really a pin. I get it. Once you get it off, it looks like a giant button. Okay. So it slides out. If you look at this, there is a lip at the top. So it's got to slide up, not down. Don't be hitting it down. Look what is on your back piece. Mine's got a lip 
that it did not want to go down. It wanted to go up. So I imagine that this, I don't see anything protruding. This would go on the same way. Okay, we start to push it. Push this button down with our finger now. Is it going to need some coercion? Coercion? When all else fails, engage impact tools. So it's at the top here, it has a flat ridge that comes down and stops. It stops on its own. There's the folding mechanism. Again, now we have access to that big push button in there if you need to put, take this off. Make sure you push that button in to take this off. Folding stock. First time I've had a brace on this gun, I've had to use the, the sling method where I hold out against the sling and semi-choke myself. So this is what it's gonna look like now. Magazine in, forward hand stop. Got the extended handle here. We got, uh, so remember these braces are designed to brace your arms so they're not, you know, don't be pulling, you can see how it's flexing back here. That's the, that's the way they're designed. There we go. Now I got myself a little bit of extra stability here. I've got a nice, nice sweeping safety. Got a nice mag release. Got a nice charging hammer that I can easily get to. The grip angle, the grip angle, much better, much better. It's not a more steep, more vertical than at an angle. More comfortable if you're holding your gun in close to your body. It's a lot more comfortable to keep this elbow down. The more that angle comes back, you got to kind of chicken wing your arm. So it's a lot more comfortable to hold this gun and also present it with that steeper grip angle. Most of my guns have a steeper grip angle. So just to sum up, I do have this little uh, spring and um, clip that would lighten up this, the pull on the, state on the trigger, which I'm gonna wait on that until I do some more shooting with it. I don't wanna throw that in there yet. But we did five things that will really improve your gun here. Your pistol is a pistol brace. A new Yeti grip, a Yeti Works re, um, magazine release, the HB Industries non kill your knuckle safety AK style, also HB Industries charging handle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, like I said, I've been doing a fair amount of upgrades and I thought, man, it's been so long since I just shared it with you guys while I was doing it. Cause a lot of times I do it late at night watching live PD, having some cinnamon Jack Daniels. Whew. Gotta have your priorities, you guys. Gotta have your priorities. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed.